whispers of valor. In the quiet town of Maple Ridge, Veterans Day was a time of solemn pride and reflection, its significance etched deeply into the town's history. Among the residents was Michael Harmon, a decorated veteran who wore his scars not on his skin, but within the recesses of his mind. Every year as November approached, a strange phenomenon began to manifest in his home. Whispers, barely audible, would slither through the corridors, unsettling him to his core. The whispers would come without warning, a cascade of murmurs that seemed to speak directly to his soul. At first, Michael thought the stress of reliving his past was fraying the edges of his sanity. He would sit up in bed, the clock glowing on 2.30, his ears straining in the dark, trying to decipher the soft voices that pulled him from sleep. Night after night, the voices grew more persistent, a relentless tide of murmured secrets that only he seemed privy to. The walls of his bedroom would seem to close in, the darkness thickening with each whispered phrase. Michael's days became a blur of apprehension, the anticipation of the nightly visitations gnawing at the edges of his mind. The once stoic soldier, revered for his unshakable composure under fire, found himself wrestling with a new enemy that no training had prepared him for. His hands shook as he poured his morning coffee, the clatter of the cup against the saucer sounding like distant gunfire. Shadows seemed to dance in the corners of his vision, fleeting and formless, as if the very air around him was saturated with the essence of bygone battles. Friends and family began to notice the change in him. The light in his eyes had dimmed, replaced by a haunted distant gaze. Michael was almost driven to madness by what he heard. The whispers were not just in his home anymore. They followed him through the streets, a private cacophony that no one else could hear. During the day, he would flinch at silent explosions and turn to address commanders who weren't there. The line between past and present, reality and memory, began to fray. The tipping point came on one fateful Veterans Day, when the whispers swelled into an overwhelming crescendo. It was then that the clarity of the voices broke through the chaos of his mind. These were not the harbingers of madness, but the echoes of legacy, reaching out to him with purpose, and ultimately guiding him towards a renewed mission in life. As Michael braced against the relentless surge of voices, a moment of desperate intuition drove him to the old leather-bound journal he kept from his service days, a silent companion through his years of turmoil. Flipping through the worn pages filled with the scribbles of a younger man, he paused on a quote he had once jotted down. Day parade, the town 
the crowd listened, rapt, as Michael's words wove the fabric of a shared legacy. Veterans in the crowd, young and old, nodded in understanding. When he finished, the applause was not just for his speech, but for the message of hope it carried. In the weeks that followed, Michael worked tirelessly to establish the Whispers of Valor support group. The library offered a room, and word spread quickly. The first meeting was small, but powerful, with veterans tentatively sharing their experiences. As they did, the room filled with an almost palpable warmth, the whispers of the past blessing their new fellowship. Months turned into years, and whispers of valor grew. Veterans Day became not only a day of remembrance, but also a day of healing and connection. The whispers in Michael's home became a source of strength, a reminder that he was never alone, that the legacy of bravery and sacrifice was a living, breathing presence in his life. And every Veterans Day, as the town of Maple Ridge came together in gratitude and respect, Michael Harmon stood among his brothers and sisters in arms, no longer haunted by the whispers of the past, but uplifted by the promise of the future. The whispers had become a chorus of hope, a testament to the enduring spirit of those who serve and continue to fight every day.